Yeah, I cheated on my husband, his brother. I had no idea that this was his brother. So he always talks about his brother all the time. Um, his brother was in the military and he was stationed somewhere and then he ended up retiring and then moving to Miami. So he doesn't come to the state where we live at to visit, but my husband goes to Miami to visit him. Um, I end up meeting his brother at KOD. I had no idea that this was his brother. Um, I seen pictures and stuff, but they was kind of old and it just didn't like, that's not my brother. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't dawn on me like, oh, that's my husband's brother. Like, I just, I didn't know. I was being a hoe. I didn't know. You think? Um, I know for a fact that my daughter isn't my husband's baby because I know when I had sex and when I conceived. This is part three. Yeah, I cheated on my husband. Man, I know when I got pregnant, I know when I could see my daughter. So I ended up telling my husband's brother that I had got pregnant and that I had a baby and that it was his baby. So we ended up doing a DNA test and he put himself on child support. So he's been paying me $800 a month for the last four years. Um, he's married and he has kids, so he don't want this to get out. So we just decided... Hold on, hold on, hold on, Hold on now, hold on now, hold on now, hold on now, hold on. If he's paying you $800 in child support, I'm pretty sure your husband is still taking care of that child because he thinks that it's his. So you double dipping. She double dipping. You know, since I'm married, he knows that I'm married. So since I'm married, just let my husband take care of her. And nobody ever got to know, but he's going to do the right thing. He's going to support her financially. <laughs> So we agreed upon that, and that's what we have been doing. But as my daughter is getting older, she doesn't look nothing like me. She doesn't look like my husband. She looks just like his brother. And my husband always say, like, damn, she just reminds me so much of my brother. And I just be sitting there like... This why be crashing out perfect example right here now in a situation like that are you gonna blame your brother what if you happen to find out that your wife cheated on you and she had a child with your brother how you gonna handle that cuz I'm not gonna lie that is treacherous behavior both on your wife's part and on your brother's part that is treacherous oh but there's more <laughs> there is more guys hold up you guys I am into some now I am into some deep so, I'm not even going to do no parts. I'm going to just tell y'all the whole mother story. All right, cool. So, I'm married now, you guys. I've been married for eight years. I have three kids with my husband. My husband is now overseas. He's been over there for about two years. When he do come home, he probably come home three times out of the year. He stay home for two, maybe two to three weeks at a time. All right, cool. I've been lonely. I'm That's a red flag. That right there is a red flag. If your husband is overseas, when he coming home two, three weeks at a time, my thing is, is he in the military? I've been lonely. I've been lonely. So I end up cheating on my husband. Yes, I cheated on him. He don't know that I cheated on him after this video. He gonna know, and I'm in some deep ass shit. But it gets worse than that. It gets worse than the cheating. All right, so I end up going to the bar one night and end up having a one-night stand with this guy, and it was amazing. So that one-night stand turned into a... Almost an every night stand. Um, yeah, but frequent, it was just like a sexual relationship. I didn't even really like care to even really get to know the man. It's just, I, I'm, I'm married. So it was just whatever, you know, my husband couldn't do for me. At the time, I was messing with this guy, this young fella, and he fine too. But yeah, I'm messing with this fella. All right, cool. So um, we've been messing around for maybe two years now or whatever. And I'm just now, we used to, when we, when we met up, we just get a room. But now, it's like, okay, I can come to your house. You can't come to my house because my kids is at the house. But now I'm going to his house. All right, cool. So, long story short, today, I found out a bitch is pregnant. I am pregnant. My husband is overseas. So, there's no way it could be my husband, baby. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It gotta be this man, baby. I haven't even told him yet. Hmm. All right. So yesterday I go to his house and I see this wall and it got the pictures, like the picture collage and stuff. 
and I'm just now paying attention to it. So I'm looking at the pictures, and I'm just like, oh, okay. You know, he doesn't have any kids, but I'm just looking at the pictures and just looking. Then I see a picture of my husband on the motherfucking wall. So I'm just like, the whole time I'm over there, I'm just sitting there, like, trying to think, like, how am I going to ask him, how do you know that guy that's on your wall? So I'm just... I, I done bit off all my nails, you guys. Like, I got one more thumb left. I got the thumb left because I'm over there nervous. I'm just biting my nails, biting my nails. Just trying to figure out how am I going to ask him, how do you know this particular man in this goddamn picture? And I'm like, if you know him, then you know he got a wife. Mm. So I'm like, was this a setup? Like, because I, I, I just don't know. So don't know. So... I just fucking, like, after probably, after I ate off all my fingernails, and we done watch movie, everything, like, I, I done, I finally asked. So, I go back over to the wall, so now I'm just like, all right, cool. You just gotta start asking questions, like, well, who is this lady? Who is this person? Who is this? So, I'm like, who this? He like, that's my mama. Who, this your daddy. All right, cool. Now, this nigga right here. I ain't saying like that, but you get down to the nigga right here. How do you know him? Mm -hmm. Who, who's that? He said, that's my brother. Lord have mercy. Hold on. Hold on. Let me pause it right there. Hey, this is like when we used to live in the hood, right? And you used to bring certain females to the crib, and she used to ask you if you know this person. Yo, you know Chris that live on 96? You, you know Earl that live in the 50s? Those are the bodies she caught, and she wanted to make sure y'all ain't friends. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. This is crazy. Another thing is, this is why, bro... A long distance relationship will bring out your woman's inner skittle. And I'm like, we've been married for eight years. I ain't never know him to have a a, a brother. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, okay, um, yeah, on on your daddy's side. So he's like, yeah, on my dad's side. All right, now cool. That's some clarity right there because my husband, daddy died way before the, me, even, me and him even met. Um, he said he had some siblings on his daddy's side. I don't know. So I just fucking like after probably after I ate off all my fingernails, uh, but he don't really know. Like, like I got some siblings on my daddy's side. Like I got a whole bunch of things, seven of them. I don't really know them like that. Like I know them, but I don't even know them like that. So, it, you know, it could. Yeah. You, yeah. So my husband. Ain't really like talk about him like that, you know. They cool or whatever, but they ain't, he ain't never like, you know. He wasn't never at none of the family functions and nothing like that. This is daddy's side, you know. Some of y'all might not know, but some of y'all that have half siblings, y'all be y'all know. I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, so he like that's my brother on my daddy's side and all this stuff. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So he's telling me like, you know, they actually really close, but I ain't never see this nigga. But I'm just like, okay, you know, is he married? He like, yeah, he married. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Boy, this shit sounded like a Tubi movie. <laughs> this shit sounded like a Tubi movie. It sounded like you about to find out you the side bitch. <laughs> I swear she about to find out she the side chick, dog. This what this sound like, bro. She I ain't no way this is real, bro. She got to be working on a script. She working on a script, y'all. So I'm like, so do you know his wife? He like, nah, I ain't never met her. She live overseas with, with him. So I'm like, no, I'm not. In my head, I'm just like, oh yeah. He like, yeah, they um, they got two kids in Germany, and I'm just like, oh man. I got three in my oh, head. Oh, man. I'm just like, oh, yeah? He's like, yeah. I talk to him, you know, very frequently. I'm just like, oh, okay. What? He like, yeah. So I'm like, maybe that ain't him. Maybe it ain't him. I'm like, maybe it ain't him. Because I got three kids and I live in the United States of America. So I'm just like, okay. So then on the collage, he starts showing me pictures of the pictures I did not see yet. But he's showing me pictures of my husband with his wife. Now, mind you, I'm the wife. So he's showing me pictures of my husband with another woman. So I'm just like, is it your kids? <laughs> so I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. Yo. <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. <laughs> bro, oh, my God. This is real, dog. There is 
<laughs> no way. Uh uh. She she's working on a script because this sounds like the making of a perfect Tubi movie, dog. Oh man. Crazy. So, but the crazy thing is, he got two boys by this other lady. Well, I, from what I'm seeing, he got pictures of the kids up here. These two boys look identical to my kids. Like they look the same. And I'm looking like, yo, then he's showing me, now mind you, I have three by my husband. I got two boys and a girl. So they got two boys. So I'm looking at the the rest of the pictures. I see a picture of my two sons, like my my kids. And I'm like, the fuck? So I'm just like, I'm just playing it dumb like, oh yeah, because I... I I'm in a situation right now. He ain't now. claiming He's you, his sis. Brother, and I'm just, I don't know what to do. He ain't claiming so, you. All right, long story short, I never even told him. Uh, this is, that was yesterday. I never even told him nothing about the man. So, but the crazy thing is, he got two boys by this other lady. Well, I, from what I'm seeing, my husband is nothing, his brother. But I'm in some shit, y'all. What do I do? Like, I'm pregnant. By my husband's brother. What do I do? What do I do? do what do I do? <laughs> my that sounds like the title of the movie. I'm pregnant by my husband's brother. That's gonna be the title of the video right here too. I don't know if this is fake. I don't know if this is real, but stuff like this really do happen, bro. This that this that hood love. This that country love also. Well, you know, country love be different. Country love be she or aunt's daughter or something like that. Now you don't got your cousin pregnant. You feel me? Like that that's country love. But this right here, this is crazy. What do y'all think in this particular situation? Are we gonna blame her? The reason I say that is because her husband got a whole nother family in Germany. So what we, what we doing? We gonna call her a skettel, we gonna call her three or four, or we gonna chalk it up to karma. This is one reason why I do not believe in long distance relationships. I do not believe in long distance relationships. Long distance relationships are like you going to prison or you going to Iraq or Afghanistan. I feel as though, man, women need wood for that campfire. Long distance relationships is it's a no bueno. If I can't if I can't consistently uh keep your fire burning, I'll gracefully bow out of the situation. Cause I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that to you. That's like you going to prison and expecting your girl to hold you down. No. Well, it's not fair to her. You should have thought about what you was doing before you got locked up. You feel me? Now you're in prison, uh, calling collect, threatening her. You better not be giving my pussy away. No, brother. 